S team. Why K8 S? Between S2 here, how many of the letters are there? 336, 7, 8 team. Okay, instead of people are, uh, you know, writing big word team or calling Kubernetes team, they are calling as a K8S team. So, okay, K8S. Now, to learn this Docker and Kubernetes, what are the pre-requesting are required team? To learn this okay, Kubernetes and Docker, what are the pre-requested okay, required team? I would say the pre-requesting is basic knowledge on Java. Basic knowledge of Java, Java language, Java language team. Okay, now okay, next one team. How to deploy? How to deploy Java application? Java application. How to deploy Java web application on container on Tomcat, Tomcat, okay. Now here JBoss, okay. Anything team, okay. Tomcat, which is also called servlet container. Third one theme, basic of basics of Linux, Linux operating system team. Basics of Linux operating system team. Linux operating system. Okay. Now that's all team. So you can understand easily this. Okay, Docker team. We can understand easily this. Okay, Docker team. Okay. Still we have this basics of basics of networking and protocols. The protocols okay required team but anyhow not a problem team that we can okay take care team that we can take care team okay now this is what our pre-requesting to you know start our docker team start our okay docker team okay now okay next one thing what is okay next one what is okay next one system requirements team you guys will plan for the system requirements one is team simple log system requirement windows 10 is the mandatory team okay windows 10 is the mandatory windows 10 operating system team if you don't have a okay, windows 10 no problem we can start our our okay, docker in okay, linux team our docker in linux team ram is minimum 8 gb it is a okay, recommended team okay minimum okay, 8 gb it is a okay, recommended team hard disk okay anyhow okay everyone will have mo more than okay 100 gb but for docker we need 100 gb so that's it team. so now i don't want okay explain like theory team first i will explain the concept of the docker why why we should go for docker team next i will give the syllabus what topics we are going to cover team I don't want okay talk about theory team again I am telling first I will explain team okay, okay first I will explain the concept team concept is very very important here than bookish knowledge team first I will give the concept why market is really required this docker team then we will go for uh, syllabus chapters and all team that is okay different one team why really market is okay required into the, the docker team let's see team so first we will focus on docker team why why docker is is popular in market in market team so every project every project okay every project every project team docker is mandatory Docker is mandatory. Even Kubernetes are optional. Kubernetes okay depends upon the your project uh, okay architecture, your project okay requirements. Kubernetes is optional, but Docker is mandatory. Why every project okay Docker is mandatory? Why Docker is popular in market? 
now so now here see why we should learn docker these are the our three agenda team now hope you are good okay everyone okay now first one team i don't know how many guys knows the okay environments i don't want to talk about okay environments also now okay let's see team how to easily we can understand uh, into the okay docker team see now team in our real time i would say docker is useful for two things team docker is useful for two things simple team docker docker is is used for two things one is do you know every company do you know every company how much of okay how much of amount they are spending on okay infrastructure team in terms of crores team in terms of crores every company is spending on spending cost on okay infrastructure team in terms of crores the first problem say docker we should give hats off to this docker first problem team it will save the cost of the okay, infrastructure team it will save the cost of the okay, infrastructure team without to docker now here what happened you know it saves infrastructure cost what is infrastructure okay, i will explain team it will save the okay, infrastructure cost team now second one first one it will save the okay, infrastructure cost and the second one you don't know team if you go any company now here what happened you know you have 100 applications you have 100 100 applications team you have 1000 applications if it is big client if you go for city bank and okay, american express team if you okay, amazon amazon city bank american express Okay, team. Now you can imagine there are thousands of the okay, applications, thousands of the okay, applications team. They need to deploy all the okay, applications into where all the okay, applications into where network. It means okay, infrastructure. Infrastructure. You know how much cost they are spending okay, infrastructure, you know. Okay, in terms of crores team, okay, in terms of crores they are spending team. In terms of crores they are spending team. Now second reason is why I should go for Docker. Okay, so stable the okay, environments. Environments stable to avoid to avoid production issues team okay, environment is stable to avoid production issues team to avoid the production issues team that's why docker is coming into the picture team now i will explain team hope i don't know i am worried how many guys knows about okay, environments and all but anyway in your real time we have different environments team our okay dev environment okay environment is a one remote system team Okay, environment is a on remote system a dev environment test environment and uat environment okay, okay dev environment okay, okay test environment and uat environment and product environment team i don't want to okay, extend these okay, environments you have in your real time okay dev environment team okay, development environment here this remote system only used by the like okay, a development team team okay, development team now it is a okay, test environment this system will be only used by okay testing team team okay, testing team now here here your production team this system will be used by whom team our end users team our end users okay production okay environment team now here what happened you know see i want to deploy one java application I want to deploy one Java application team. 
or I want to okay, deploy one Java application or .NET application or PHP applications, whatever it will be team. I want to okay, deploy one application team. I want to deploy one application team. As of now, assume that Java application. Java, okay. Web application team. So now, now what happened here? See, to deploy my application into this dev environment, it is a dev environment means like one simple system team. How our laptop is there? Okay, instead of local your laptop, it is running in AWS cloud. It is running in your uh, okay on okay, on prem okay, infrastructure team. What this okay, dev, dev environment will do team? Your network team. It is an empty system. Most of the most of the applications will be. Run, running on remotely okay linux team okay installed os i need to do install jdk i need to do installed tomcat server or your project may using jvas i need to do not i your network team will do so in tomcat do the below configurations what are the configurations a environment configuration b b if any is some thread pools are there okay thread pools c if any okay, https okay ssl ssl okay, certificates configurations are required p d so the security related key stores are there Related key store is there. Okay. Now, see now five. Okay, team. Five. If any some, uh, if any some, you know, um, port configurations. If any some admin configurations. Okay, team. Or um, connection pooling is there. Okay. Database. Connection pooling. Database connection pooling is there. Understand, sir. So now these are the things. So now here what happened, you know? I have seen team in 2015, 2000. Okay. in legacy uh, you know okay, applications okay i have seen team okay it is the minimum configuration team who will do our network team we will do team who will do our okay, network team we will do team network team has the okay, responsibility that's why okay, network jobs are their team network team has the okay, responsibility they should okay configure Whatever you want, all the software and configuration they will do in okay, dev environment team. And they will do in okay, test environment team. Please try to understand. Entire is Docker is depending on this only. Doesn't matter you have a 100 chapters, you have a 200 chapters, but the concept is Docker is only these two points team. Okay, that, that's it. Concept is only two points. Okay, industry was crazy on this one team now. Okay, I will explain why it is crazy and all. Okay, now please try to understand team now. Team. So now you will deploy your application into okay, okay, test environment. Again, your network guy will do the setup team. Now same style. Okay, your application will be okay deployed into prod team your application will be okay deployed into prod team if you want okay deploy into prod again you should do into what same configuration team but unfortunately in your real time what happened you know in your real time what happened you know please try to understand team in your real time what happened you know they will not by mistake human mistakes team 
developer has wrongly configuration this data source developer has wrongly configuration ssl sets then what happened your application is working for fine in okay okay dev environment application is working fine in okay test environment but application is not working in production environment it is a big impact for us in production two hours your application was down if two hours your application was down means what happened you know if two hours your application was down means your client will lose the revenue business from the your customers team you can imagine have you seen anywhere your amazon was down have you seen anywhere your uh, your um, facebook was down team no team see see what is the okay, drawback here team the okay, drawback here was please try to understand team entire okay docker is okay depending on this one what is the drawback here okay, drawback team so by mistake if any configuration is done in prod then it will be big impact so main loss the business due to the application is not working team due to the application is not working see here means the okay, environment okay, environment okay, okay environments set up our configurations before docker team configuration not consistent not consistent team that is that is you know so if the if the configuration is you no know, if the if the application is working fine in dev but not not working in production due to configuration issues okay this is the one of the drawback team to overcome this drawback what this okay docker guy will do you know to overcome this drawback what this okay docker guy will do now here hey developer see docker now here I will explain later team okay don't worry too much they will write okay docker file in this docker file they will write what you want in this docker file they will write what you want you want installed in jdk you want okay installed tomcat you want do this configuration everything they will write team everything they will write everything they will write see how how happy you will see with docker i will explain in depth later team it is i am giving a simple okay okay brush up of okay, i am giving team demo means it's not like only simple okay, application team now we will see team so now what this okay, docker file will do give this docker file to your docker it will prepare the one image team it will prepare the one image will prepare the one image team what is image how is work image in this image once you will configure the details in image can you edit your image team you have any okay you have okay image is there can you edit this image okay straight away team you have okay image is there can you edit team straight away no you can't edit you have edit software is there that is okay different team once you will okay prepare the image you, you can't able to do this okay edit team so what this okay docker will do hey you will prepare the image now okay deploy this image contains what very very important team image contains what zero step i am writing zero step i am writing see top step your project code your project source code earlier you are deploying only your application now you are deploying now you are deploying application code along with your software i would say high level image will have your source code of the project image will have softwares image will have configuration everything is one single bundled image everything at one single place everything is at one single place deploy this image into deploy this image into server see you will not 
get any issue stream. You will not get any okay, issue stream. Deploy this image into where? Server team. And run this image. And run this image. In where? Server. Run image. This image is nothing but. Okay, run this image into server team. After running, the output is called container team. Container team. Run the image, you know, it is also called output is container team. That's it team. Means don't deploy only your application. Okay, instead of okay, deploying your application, so you, you will be okay, deployed into a Docker image. You don't need to configure this okay, explicitly into every server. You just prepare one Docker file. What configuration is required? Everything you will be placed into Docker file and prepare the one image and deploy that image into this server, this server, this server, so that and run that image. You will be output as a container. Okay, run that image. You will get output as a container. Now here, C team, very very important team. You will not see again, you will not see any configuration issues here. Have you expecting any configuration of issues team here? Please, have you expecting any configuration of issues team here now? No. Why? You will not see. You are not doing this whole thing as a manually. When the problems will come, whenever the person or developer will do this configuration manually due to some human mistakes okay, developers are doing some manual uh, issues team that's why this kind of issues will come that's why these kind of issues will come if developer is not doing all this stuff manually then these issues will not come team then these issues will not come team are you clear team first problem okay docker okay okay how to address this docker team so you will be okay, deployed into your, your Docker image. What is Docker image? How to prepare a okay, Docker image? I will explain okay, everything team. If if you have a okay, Docker okay, image is there, this configuration is no need for this Docker image. This configuration is no need for this Docker image. Your Docker image will replace everything team. Your Docker image will replace with everything team. Same style here. So no way will get production issues no way will get to production issues with the docker with the docker team with the docker team hope you are clear okay everyone team hope you are clear okay next one team what is the next problem team i told okay next problem statement team now what is the next problem statement see docker is used for only two things team one is it will save okay, infrastructure cost other other one is okay, environments uh, stable okay not stable okay, environments should be stable to avoid the production issues team okay, next one is what see very very important stuff team after this okay i will explain team what topics we are going to cover in docker and kubernetes team see in your real time production applications see the day one test is okay traffic is a okay, limited team but production huge traffic stream around 10 millions hits will come okay around 1 million 1 million means okay, 10 lakhs of okay, hits or a okay, request will come if 10 lakhs risk is handled by one server no no that's why in production minimum four or three three or more Words would be there. Okay, depends upon okay, okay, requirement team. So now it is for only one client for one product. Client for one product or or one future of application, one future of the product. So now here what happened? So my application should be okay deployed into three servers team my application will be deployed into where three servers team server one okay now server two server three 
server 3. Now, here you have app. You have app. You have app D, our application. Your app is there. Your app is there. Your app is there. Okay. Now, see. Now, interest one. To execute our application, here we have a load balancer team. Before Docker, what happened? You know, here we have a load balancer team. What is load balancer and all? No problem, team. We'll explain in later. Here we have a load balancer. And our huge okay request will come from my client applications. Huge okay request team. Huge okay request are you no. Know, because the because this production you will get huge traffic team production you will get huge traffic team okay if huge traffic will come now okay request one request two request three and so on okay team whenever these kind of okay request will will come team then what happened team your load balancer it will look, distribute the load across all the servers but it, okay, it is not our intention what is our okay, intention you know in your real time see before docker what happened you know to run this application to to execute this application team i need minimum to execute this application very very okay, important team to execute this application you know we need we need application need 1 GB, 1 GB RAM, RAM, comma, i4 processor are required. To execute this application, same, right? 1 GB, comma, i4 process. To execute this application, 1 GB, comma, i4 process is required. But in real time, what happened, you know? See, okay, in your real time, what happened, you know? See, now, your client will have, let's assume that for only this simple service, balance applications or product service, you know, Amazon, Amazon to display this, okay, Amazon.com team, display this Amazon.com, where all the products will come team, all the products will come from the backend team, all the products will come from the backend team. So, you know, how many users are okay, accessing this Amazon team? This time, maybe 10 lakhs users. See, we sh ship over 45 million products around the world team. You can imagine. So, to run this only product information, Amazon minimum 1000 servers are required team. Amazon is not a small company. If thousand servers means, if thousand servers means approximately thousand GB for only one service team. You can imagine, you can imagine how many products are there, how many services are there team. So every client application, if it is bank application or if it is client application, minimum team, hundred products are there. Hundred products there are thousands of services are there each service thousand db gb means thousand multiply by thousand approximately how much it is team one lakh or okay ten lakhs ten lakhs you know um, size of uh, gb or you know teradata or okay uh, okay, beta data and all it will be their team. How much client should invest team? How much client should work invest team on this? Please try to understand team. How much client should work investment on this team? Am I audible team? Okay. How much client is work investment on this team? See to overcome. See you know here okay, infrastructure cost is more team. This because of these problems. Because of these problems what beautiful concept is there given by this docker say so, hey see the problem is if traffic is less 
either how much you know space is you, you are allocated it will take that much of team before docker it was fixed it is taking 1 gb it will take 1 gb team if the traffic is now here see here either you will be required 1 gb or not how much you have allocated you should take that okay 1 gb team so if you don't require this 1 gb right but still team still you are okay allocated right you can't do anything team sometimes what happened initially you have allocated for 10 gb but you are not using that but still you are using team what this docker will do how the beautiful docker will do that's why docker is famous into the market now hey don't worry all your all your clients big big companies docker will provide the solutions like how much here first problem statement is resource utilization is not drawbacks what is the drawback resource utilization resource of utilization is not proper because of this companies are investing more <laughs> investing more on this on this due to fixed due to fixed allocation of the network resources network of the resources team network of the resources team to overcome docker will provide the solutions like now here solutions like okay okay docker will provide the okay, some solutions like how much how much memory and and ram is required ram is required only only that much that much it will allocation team it will be allocated team that much it will be allocated team it will not provide that much it will be allocated team it will not provide the uh, you know fixed resource team it will not provide the fixed resource team that is that is how much cp and ram is required to run the allocation to run the applications how much cpu comma ram is required is required to run the application run the application only that much of only that much of okay that much of resources okay is only it provides team you know you it will save and that means docker docker will use resources more effectively docker will use resources more effectively docker will use resources more okay, effectively okay team so that's why okay every okay, that's why that's why team every companies will use okay docker team do you know every software team do you know okay have you observed or not every software earlier earlier we have okay, every software team every software every software like uh, Oracle, MySQL, MongoDB, Java, huh? and so on team. Earlier we have either zip file or we have either .exe file. Now you have Docker. We have Docker image. Why? If you installed the exe, don't know how much space it will take. It will take minimum minimum some 1 gb minimum some uh, this much of cp is required fixed team it has a docker don't worry how much space and ram is required it will take that much only every software every software if you observe or not in google zip file e exe or okay, msi file along with this docker image also will be there docker image will save the our okay, infrastructure 
cost will save our okay, infrastructure and resources okay, effectively how it will be used team how okay, it will be used team correct clear team okay everyone so that's why these two are available team now okay let's see team hope you are clear team why we should go for docker and all okay now what topics we are going into covered team this docker what topics we are going into covered team so first we'll cover as a introduction team next we'll see as a very very important team what is okay, virtualization and what is the containerization because everything is okay docker is okay containerization right now, third one is virtualization and containerization so if already okay virtualization is there why we should go for containerization now here what are the advantages and drawbacks now here we should use okay advantages comma drawbacks okay and when to use okay virtualization and when to use okay dockerization all in depth we are going into seating now fourth one we are going into okay discuss about you know dockers dockers how the docker will containerization team how the docker will since there are so many okay containerization okay technologies will be their team docker you know machine so many are there if so many are there why market will be using docker only team so that we'll have a discuss team and docker how the docker concepts team docker concepts on isolations what is isolations and all don't worry even though if you don't know all these terminologies no problem team i'm going to discuss linux namespaces i'm going to discuss control statements control groups or people are calling it as c groups i'm going to be taking care of okay now union file system union system team now okay next one docker architecture the next one team docker architecture what is this docker architecture the next one team docker flow docker flow okay under architecture again we have three components are there we'll discuss in depth team here i am writing only look high level team okay, high level means like a docker engine in this docker engine what are the components are there i don't want talking okay demo all docker damian container d and run c each and everything even if you don't know i will explain in depth team docker cli architecture only three components are there and docker container okay, registry team we have okay, some of okay, registries are there in the market team one is docker hub it is an open source market okay other one is other one is you have ecr if you go for a okay, aws team elastic container okay, registry okay, aws you can go for a okay, private okay, container okay, registry team acr azure container okay, registry team okay azure container okay, registry team okay now this you now how to create okay public repositories and how to prepare private okay, repositories company organizations will be prepared the private okay, repositories team how it works team okay, next one docker flow docker flow means how to build how to package how to ship team how to ship now flow means what build means how to write the docker file package means how to prepare the image ship means container done that is what this one team how to work with all i will show you practically team you don't worry it is only for syllabus team okay, that's it okay now okay, next one team now what topics we are going to cover now actual topic came docker objects there are two objects are there in a okay, docker team one is one is docker image one is a okay, docker image other one is docker container team 
I will explain in depth on this Docker image. Just here I am okay introduction and how many commands are there with this Docker? Why Docker images are read only? Why Docker images are layered and stackable? Layered and stackable. All we are going to get discussed in. Even though if you don't know all these things, no problem. Here also introduction. How these commands we can use this Docker container commands. How to okay, debug the Docker containers logs. Everything we are going into see in practicality. And once it is done, Docker software installation team. How this Docker software installation would be happening? Okay, one is Windows how to installation. Another one is AWS, AWS EC2 how to installation. This Docker, okay, AWS EC2. Another one is how our on-prem server VMs are there. How to install the Docker into our on-prem server. Everything we are going to okay, discuss team. Okay, next one team. We are going to discuss about Docker file, in-depth this Docker file, in this, after this Docker file, Docker okay, directives team, we have okay, directives, so many okay, directives are there, I cannot type from org, run, all our directives team, run, add, add, copy, copy, environment, CMD, CMD, expose, expose. Now here entry point. All you can see in your project team. In your project, if you are using Docker, very very important topic is called volumes. Look health check, health check team. Okay, health check entry point volumes and all expose. Okay, all are so many are their team. What this one people are calling it as directives one directives to okay instead of okay i am providing lengthy team we are providing all these commands can be split into two ways team one is build instructions during build instructions what are the commands are required and during okay container of instructions while executing container of instructions what are the commands are required team what are the Commands are okay required to team. What are the commands are okay required to team? I would say, I would say until ENV is called build instructions from org, copy, ENV, and all these. Now I will explain clearly to team from CMD. These are called container okay, instructions team. Container okay, instructions team. Now, next one team, Docker okay, networking team. Docker okay, networking. There are four types of okay, networking are there team. Bridge, bridge, host, host, overlay, overlay, and uh, MacVLAN, and uh, none. These are the architects. These are the about Docker team. I don't want to talk about Docker Swam because it is already there. No one will use in the market. It is already because of some drawback is there a tracker swam and all they are using kubernetes team they are using kubernetes team that's why we are not covered this is swam team and summary faqs is there but every topic uh, okay at the end of the okay topic only we are going to okay, discuss this okay faqs team this is end to end docker agenda team end to end docker agenda team why we should go for docker what is the purpose of this docker now here docker is, is used for only two reasons team one is to you know it saves the infrastructure cost environment stables to avoid the production issues team that's it okay how to do it that all we have okay discussed with team okay we have okay discussed with team now okay next one team what is the okay, next one kubernetes docker is Mandatory for everyone. Now, what is Kubernetes agenda team? Just it will be done in few minutes team. That's it. Yeah, we are going into talk about team. This Kubernetes. Uh, okay, to, to understand this Kubernetes, 
we should require basic micro service architecture team i would explain starting okay introduction introduction in this introduction what is in this inter introduction what is micro services difference between monolithic monolithic versus micro services the difference between monolithic and micro services and okay now introduction to kubernetes kts team okay instead of writing full name i am writing kts now it is very very important team container cluster management what is cluster now cluster is group of okay network or group of a okay, computer team will be explaining what is cluster how this okay, cluster will work okay how the how the cluster how the cluster um, size how the cluster uh, how the cluster size would be there okay and how and how the how the communication how the communication communication between between um, between nodes or computers okay we'll discuss okay everything team so third one every 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 important team entire kubernetes is different if you know this docker architecture okay nothing is their entire okay kubernetes team if you know the kubernetes architecture nothing is there kubernetes architecture means what is the master node here we have api manager here we have a okay, scheduler here we have controller manager okay, that's it team now okay second one team you have okay worker node node team not node we have okay worker node okay container okay, runtime kubelet that's it team third one etcd and so on if you understand this kubernetes architecture you can play the games like okay anything team how this set up kubernetes cluster using so many ways you can set up team one is minkube team others one is standalone like uh, k8s cluster cluster using cube adm cube admin it is like on on prem server it is like on prem server team the third one very very important topic is called cube ctl cube ctl you need to discuss more on this cube ctl team there are so many commands are there cube ctl commands we'll discuss all team next one team we'll discuss cube q proxy how this q proxy is there how it works next one team it is another important topic in kubernetes k8s objects team objects means we have what is pod very very important team what is pod what is okay deployment what is service what is pod deployment service nodes nodes what is the load balancer everything we are going to get discussed in how to write a okay, deployment file how to write the part in depth we are going to get discussed in next one cube config how the cube config was there okay next one team one it is networking options team one it is okay, networking okay, options team next one one it is config maps next one this config maps and secrets people rare people will teach team not all people team this is what kubernetes we are going to discuss team. got it team so this is what our docker agenda this is what our kubernetes agenda team if anyone is not okay subscribe team please okay subscribe in our telegram you, you will get batch updates and okay, everything team i will explain uh, how this spring boot uh, you can do i forgot to add 
वन एंड टू एंड एग्जापल वन एंड टू एंड एग्जापल एंड टू एंड एग्जापल सिनारियो वन एंड टू एंड आन स्प्रिंग बोट अंड मैक्रो सर्विस using docker and kubernetes using docker and kubernetes how to do that i will that i will cover it okay that means uh, you know how to deploy how to how to write docker file how to create image how to build you know how to deploy application in you know, aws etc deploy application aws ec2 run the image you know uh, and also okay you can publish the image docker hub fifth one run the image okay run the image in ec2 now sixth one not okay publish the image and okay, run the image and okay, test the application the different okay, use cases will be showing in in our uh, okay, example scheme